Hey everyone, welcome to Q&A number four. This is the num- number four already. We come along. Yes. So uh, we don't waste much time in uh, hearing original Hebrew. Let's get to the first question and welcome everybody. Welcome. So the first question is, after the Babylonian exile, Ezra changed the language from Paleo-Hebrew to Aramaic and Asherit. What do you believe his motivation would be? So uh, this person is referring to the fact that when the Jews came back from the Babylonian captivity, they were no longer using anything resembling the ancient script, but instead were using block letters, uh, Aramaic script that is... And Assyrian, and Asherat. 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 So the script that um, is the one that everyone is used to today, the one that we call Hebrew, modern Hebrew, but which is actually Aramaic. Well, there's very... There's a lot of interesting schools of thought. Number one would be the king wants you to learn this language, and that's what you can do business with. They were told to go there and listen. They would be taken care of, well spoiled, and they would come back. Uh, Not them, but the children. However, uh, they are to be under four beasts until uh, Yeshua returns, the Messiah. So while under those beasts, their, uh, their language was influenced by Babylonians, right. Assyrians, uh, Greeks, Romans, uh, Ashkenazi, um, what you would call, uh, I guess, the Shem, Shemite people down in, down in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. So yeah, they, they're they're still a people, but they're gonna be under foreign powers until Yeshua returns. Yeah. So we're trying to get. Uh, we're trying to get a pure language back again, as as pure as we can. Which brings us to some of the next questions. Uh, what's what's the part two in this? He's asking, do you think the whole sacrificial system was incorporated because of the influence of the Babylonians and their animal sacrifices to their god? Uh, no, it's definitely they were instructed by Father through the prophet Moses. Yeah with precise instructions and exactly what type of animals. Uh, if they would, uh, I, I understand what he's saying, but they were they were doing this even out in the wilderness. They went out to sacrifice and they kept sacrificing unto Father. Yeah. Yeah. Now, next question, let's see. Um, please explain your statement that the alphabet points to Hamashiach. So this is something that you mentioned uh, in our last Q and A, I think so. They wanted a bit more well, color on. Yeah, this, why this you is said making that. me. This is making me laugh and giggle. Uh, I don't. I'm not a splitty hair kind of people. But when they say alphabet, I call it. Okay, alphabet. now hold on. I, I could put together. I could put <laughs> the, together a series of clips where you I you have called it the alphabet. I know. I do it just in, to in be nice, few, but it's few. alphabet. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. This the. The Tyrians changed it over. However, let's uh, just to say it, I'll bait <laughs> how it points to Hamashiach. Yes. Okay, this has always been uh, Father's alphabet, Father's language. Uh, not to cause you to stumble or to get too deep, but it's, it's simplistic. In the days of, uh, in the days of uh, before the flood, okay. uh, it was given to mankind uh, by, uh, by angels. According to Hanuk, the prophet Enoch, Hanuk, Hanuk. Yeah. and uh, we're we're not we're not angel worshippers or Nephilim worshippers. We we don't get into that much, but it was brought down and it was by Father and to communicate with man, and in particular his servants. Well, so to clarify, so, the language itself was given to mankind by Father at creation. Um, you're speaking in particular about the alphabet, the letters, yes, which yes. Um, Enoch records that the angels came and they taught the letter, they taught the art of writing to man. Uh, yes, yeah. and uh, they were sent by Father. Now some of them went bad, but we did get our alphabet. <laughs> and now after, before and after the flood, that's what they communicated in, and uh, they, and they went all the way down the line, the ever line that turned into the Hebrew line, and here we are. And uh, one way or another, he's he's going to put his people back together. And he says, bit by bit, bone by bone, 
Alf by Bet. <laughs> <laughs> Alf by Bet. I hope that helps. Well, this. well. So, how does the alphabet point to Messiah? Well, every other alphabet, uh, other than, other than Tyrian, what you call the Western alphabet, it doesn't point to anything because it's a, it's a merchant, it's a merchant's alphabet. Uh, they they changed it over. But when you go to Egypt, their pictographs talk about their gods. If you go to and dig up some some Hittite uh, ruins, the alphabet points to their gods. Uh, I like uh, the Luvians. They just found the uh, Luvians in uh, in Anatolia, Turkey, and they have their own pictographs those are for their gods. Pretty cool characters. Yes, they are. However, however, uh, those were made by men uh, after. Well, in the days of Peleg, when uh, when Father divided the nations, right? Yeah. Uh, Peleg, that would have been a good one for for Pei. Yes, Peleg was named after uh, the word Palag, which means the division. The division, yes. So, so uh, alphabet. Let's go with Aleph. Who's who's the top bull? Yeshua. Yeshua. Who's who? Which is the top house? He is the house. He, he is, is the bait of God. He is the bait who, who, who is who is the living water he of is. the mim. You know, yeah, yeah. got any more? I mean, um, he is the the lamed. He's our teacher, the the good shepherd. He is the good shepherd. I mean, he he, he says, "I am the door." Yes, he's the he's the alf and the bait. Ab. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everything here points to Father Yeshua. Yeah. So hallelujah, we love we love his alf, alf bait. Alf Beit. Uh, this uh, next question. Uh, we're, uh, we're having too much fun with this one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can you try the word amat? Now amat. some will say emet. Emet. But yes. no, 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 no. It's more breath. Amat. 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 Aleph. Mem. Tav. So, do you want to take it or? Yes, I do. Um, I've been wanting to talk about the word truth for some time, and I don't quite know how to work it in. So maybe we'll just talk about it here on the Q&A. But this is a word that I asked Father about, because for over a year, uh, I was studying a series of words. One of them was truth that all have the same root. So truth and faith and a couple other things. And I came to the point where I looked up and I said, like Pontius Pilate, what is truth? And what he told me is the sound of many waters. That was his answer. And when he wow. said that, I understood exactly what he meant. He's talking about his voice. So the Aleph, the Mim, the Tav, the the lead bull, the top bull, the top top the top leader, many waters and Tav. Pay attention. Be silent before the Lord, O nations. What's the next one here? Oh, well, these these are good right here. Is the pronunciation of the Vav when you speak Abba Yahuwah's Shem, his name, is it Ve or Va? And yes, I did listen to the Q&A answer. I don't understand why you say ve. Thank you. So when we pronounce his name, we pronounce it yo he vo he. Uh -huh. And a common pronunciation of his name is Yahuwah. So there are 
trying to get to the bottom of why we call him what we do. So today, may it's the, they pronounce the letter ya, ha, and then instead of va, they use u, ah. Yes. I, uh, I love the way it sounds. <coughs> okay, we use yo hey, bo hey, uh, as a starting. Now, now we're we're not gonna split hairs over this. Right. Instead, we'll uh, we'll get as close as we can. Now, if you say Yahoo Ah, it's it's fine with us. Uh, one day, the prophets the prophets will be sent because it says, uh, in the in the days, and we believe this is the very end. His spirit will fall like like the dew everywhere. Uh, the 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 young women will prophesy, right? And the old man will dream dreams. The spirit's gonna fall hard. Yeah. In those days, uh, I believe uh, we'll learn more. Right now, we can't say for sure is it Yahuwah or Yahshua, Yohe Vohe or Yahuwah. Some people say uh, Yahusha. Uh, I I say this: if you love Father. And you're doing it from your heart. Uh, I don't see how it's not acceptable to him because you're not trying to override him. If your heart is pure, if your heart is clean, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna let you uh, pronounce it the way you want because he knows you love him, and that's really what he cares about. Yeah, yeah, it's not about grammar. <laughs> so yeah, if if you want to pronounce it that way, it's fine. We we just hope that our type of paleo that we uh, that we speak to you about helps you out. I Ho- hope it improves it. How's that? Next one. Hello. Thank you for your service to us. Is there a community site or area where we can practice speaking and reading together? I would really appreciate something like that. Uh, Thank you. Love you. Uh, We're about to write. You want to announce it? Yeah. So we're working on a website. I don't know that um, it will serve as what this person is asking for uh, a place to practice speaking and reading together but um, we are working on a website and one of the inspirations for the website is Carlos was watching um, either our last Q&A video or mm-hmm. Samic video Samic. and and he got to around the eight minute mark and he had already seen four ads on YouTube Four ads. There was four ads on her. How sad. <laughs> so, How sad. Some of them are. Some of them are things I that are <laughs> blasphemous. Some of those commercials. Yeah. So we we really wanted to um, have the videos up in a format that is commercial free for everybody. Um, so they are all of the videos are actually up right now on a website called archive.org. And we're going to be using those copies to place on the website so you guys can watch commercial free. And in addition to the videos, we'll be putting a few additional things. Up oh, there. lots of helps. Yeah. Uh, free free downloads. Uh, yeah, you'll you'll like it. Uh, there's many people that would like to use this as a teaching tool to help out, but the commercials are so bad. Uh, well, I, I I was like, you're right. I was looking at Samic. And there was six commercials. <laughs> six commercials. Yeah. I go, Father. You know, you know so, yeah. yeah. I, I had put the music up also on SoundCloud. And so I was listening through the playlist. And in between the songs, there's two, three commercials. That's terrible. So, so yeah, we're putting the music up on the website, free downloads, all that. What's the website? I'm not going to tell the address yet. Because it's going to be in edit mode for the next few weeks, and so I don't want somebody oh. to go in and check, and and it's not, you know, quite ready. It's not functional. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, but now, it's a cool address. Yeah. Now we we remind you, uh, we we do not ask for donations. Neither right. do we accept donations. We want to do this free for our father's children to use now and forever, any way you want. Yeah. So. Um, Let's uh, let's get the next question here. Can you please give the reference for when Yahua tells his children from which tribe they come? Thank you. Okay, do we have an actual reference for that? We there are some scriptures we'd have to we, uh, something like this we'd have to prepare, get some scriptures and all that. 
I'm sorry we didn't bring that to this question and answer. You know, but it is written he will gather us from from everywhere, from every land. Yeah. So uh, to this point, I I don't have a scripture to give you because I haven't uh, we haven't separated any. But uh, that's a great question, no? It is. It is. But yeah. if you think about it, the uh, that'll take a that'll take a video unto itself, like the Baba Name video. Yeah. At at some point, yes. we'll we'll put together a video about the tribes. Um, but the the bottom line is, he's going to regather the tribes. And he's going to set them in their land, in our land, based on what tribe they're from. Watch it. If they lived on, I'll give you an example. If they lived on Megiddo and uh, and uh, Gad Avenue, <laughs> <laughs> right? If you lived on the corner of Megiddo and Gad Avenue back in the day, and you had the second house, you, you, you'll go back to that second house, that property, and have it restored. So... They're going to find out who they are. It's uh, When you read Ezekiel, it says you're going to know bone by bone, muscle by muscle, little by little. And you'll finally one day let you know uh, what tribe you're from. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. So. Okay. Now, that's great news because uh, tribes are coming back. But now for all the, all the Gentiles, it's, it's, it's uh, to let you know how much... Uh, how much your creator and Yeshua care for you and love you. He puts it like this. He goes, I picked up, I picked the people named Israel and there, and he compared them to, to his original, uh, his original uh, olive tree. But let's, let's say like us, we're the tribe of Zebulun. He, he broke the tribe of Zebulun off, threw it in the ground and it's a dry dead branch. And instead, he took he took the nations, the goyim, and he took them a wild fig tree and put them into Yeshua and grafted them, and now they're Israelites. It's the, the very same. And then, when we find Yeshua, we get grafted back into our original, original tree. So we're the original olives, but the wild olives get grafted in and become part of the part of the branch, the tree again. Yes. Yeah. So, all you Gentiles. You're just as welcome as the tribes. We're not, we don't think we're. <laughs> there's no not, no specialty about them other than than uh, than Father is fulfilling his prophecy to restore them. Yeah. Right. So did, did we uh, answer this in any way, or did we go off on a tangent? A, a little bit of a tangent, but okay. the the bottom line is that if if he's going to put us in our land according to tribes. Oh, you're going to know he, where you're from. He has to tell us where we're yeah. from. If he's going to have uh, 144,000, 12,000 from each tribe, he's going to have to tell them where okay. they're from. I know, but, but, yeah. saying, but this question is, where does it say in the Bible that? So we can come to a conclusion so far, but yes. I like to see that. I, I believe it's in there, and uh, we're going to look it up. And if we can't find it, we'll come back and say we, we couldn't find it. Because it, it doesn't stop us now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll to the next question. That's a great question, and we will follow up. Uh, next question, let's see. Let's say there. That's mini writing, no? <laughs> <laughs> this is micro writing. Um, okay, let's and, see. And it's closer to Dawson than me. He says, uh, while reading the scriptures, I came across this reference to the branch in Zechariah 6, and a question I have about our father's name in the son's name, and checked Strong's. So he mentions Strong's number 3091, Yehoshua, which means the Lord is salvation. Yeshua means salvation, and Yeh or Yahushua is Yah is salvation. Which is it? Please do a Q&A on this. I think we just kind of went over that, right? But uh, yeah, it does mean salvation. God, God's salvation. Uh, creator salvation. Uh, uh, Yohe salvation. Yes, it does mean that. Uh, we, as we said, if you pronounce it Yahshua, Yahshua, or Yahu, Yahushua, yeah, I, I believe the, as we said, the prophets will tell us when they, yeah. when they get here, and you'll know it's a prophet because uh, he he speaks uh, he speaks uh, things that glorify the Father and Yeshua. So no. there are different there are different spellings of of 
the, so the name in the Old Testament is Joshua. That's the English transliteration. Mm -hmm. um, and there are different spellings in Hebrew. And in some cases, in the same like verse, you've got different spellings. Yeah. So th the question that a lot of people have is, is it Yah is salvation? Or is, the, is it just He is salvation without the name Yah in it? Because sometimes you'll see it as Yehoshua, which is Yah is salvation sometimes it'll just be yeshua where it's not apparent that yah with with the yod and the hey is in the name so people want to know is father's name in yeshua's name interesting uh i know praise praise him by his name yah yeah <laughs> that is so yahshua no is the i mean that sounds pretty clear yeah so uh Eventually, praise he'll them. tell us exactly. Well, praise the Lord. Praise exactly him by how, his name. How to spell yeah. it. Yeah. But he is, he is most certainly. It even tells you. Yeah. He is God. He so. is God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's go to uh, the next question here. More small writing. Boy, is small. Okay. So, this is about the episode that we just posted on the letter Pei. Um, okay. So, Pei is a picture of the mouth, and the word Pei in Hebrew means mouth. So, this person asks. Or he says, I find it strange that the mouth does not have a single meaning of nutrition, eating, drinking, swallowing. Why is that? Yeah, why? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, eating is Shem, teeth, bite. Yeah, so the, from yeah. what, from we, what we've seen. We haven't seen, got to, to Shem yet. We haven't got to Shem, but we have yeah. spoken a little bit about, uh, excuse me, it's not Shem, it's uh, Sha. It's Sheen. The letter is sheen, which is, means teeth. Um, but we think about eating when we think about the word shem for name because the meaning of the letter is to eat in that particular word. If you eat and drink, and drink your life, life, shem. Yeah, yeah. We talked about that a little bit in the Last Supper video. But um, but yeah, so the, the, the teeth are used for the act of consumption and eating. Um, the letter mem we've seen used for the act of drinking. The letter pay, like you were saying um, before we came on this video, is more for like the lips and the the lips, the, the opening. I I like uh, pay the when you use it as a fay. The eyes, for example, you have two eyelids, and each eyelid is an off. You got off off. Off that off. That was one of the, the coolest words I've ever seen. That yeah, means two eyelid, two eyes, it's two, two eyelids, eyes off and off. two openings. Yes. Yes, yes. So, you, you can see how that goes. Um, what's the next question out here? Okay. Someone asks, does the word, the I plus Vav plus reflection exist? If does not, if it does not exist, how would we translate a word like this one? Ein, Vav, and then Noon. <laughs> Noon, so reflection, watch, plus reflection. There's only one letter that's reflection, not hash. Not hash, a.k.a. noon. Mm -hmm. So, avad, that would be a sin. Iniquity. Iniquity, yeah. yeah. And that is it for questions. Yeah, now we want to announce we're working on giving you a uh, either a daily or twice weekly. No, don't say daily. <laughs> yeah, we don't really have that kind of time, but yeah. all we can reading in paleo of genesis yes yeah so genesis and uh for, yeah. for those for those following the series um we're working on sade right now yeah we're gonna yeah. finish we're, we're gonna also finish working this. we're working on the website um we won't leave you hanging there but uh, but yeah we're working on uh, a format for an easy reading that everyone can hopefully follow of genesis yeah and uh, you could do a free download hopefully yeah so we'll be free download we'll, we'll and follow a... along in paleo yes right we'll go i like to see tohu vavohu tohu in, vavohu. in uh in paleo i have no idea when that's going to be ready we have no idea but it is coming uh hopefully father opens up the, the doors and we and we get there yeah okay so shalom to all of you and and uh peace unto jerusalem yeah, you know, and since we talked a little bit about the tribes and people were asking, um, several, several people have put in questions about the tribes. And 
how is it that you know anyone's going to know the tribe so we actually there's somebody who watches the channel and um they are from the tribe of zebulun we've got people from the tribe of dan that i've seen dan uh, zebulun yehuda and gad. and gad that watched the channel that those are the ones we know right now um so anyway the this uh, this person who who watches the channel tribe of Zebulun gives a little uh, has a video on on her channel gives a little testimony and then has a song for the tribe of Zebulun. There so I want to I want to end end the show with that song. Yeah, beautiful song by a yeah. sister. We asked I asked for permission her permission for us to share it. So here we go. Here it is. Enjoy, enjoy Shalom everybody. everybody. Shalom unto Jerusalem not anything major i just singing praises and and singing them to abba yahuwah so um for anyone that watches this that happens to be from the tribe of zebulun here's a song for you all right here goes i'm from the tribe of zebulun yes i'm from the tribe of zebulun I'm from the tribe of Zebulun. Are you from the tribe of Zebulun? All right, that's it. But it's just been going around in my head for days and days and days. So maybe somebody who watches this will be like, here, I can add on to that. <laughs>